Hello YouTube Sales Lovers, Sales Extreme welcomes you. In today's video, I am going to show you a brilliant attacking game of Paul Murphy. In this game, his opponent was Eugene Russo. Paul Murphy had white pieces and Eugene Russo had black pieces. Paul Murphy began the game with e4, king's pawn opening, e5 e5 by using Russo f4 King's Gambit e captures f4 King's Gambit accepted knight f3 King's Gambit accepted King's Knight variation c5 e5 by Paul Murphy Eugene Russo did not capture it. Instead, he moved his pawn forward g4, threatening the knight. Knight moves to g5. King's gambit accepted. al gambit. a6, again threatening the knight. Knight captures f7, a brilliant move. King captures f7. Now using Rousseau, loses the castling opportunity. Queen captures z4. Queen to f6 by using Rousseau. Bishop she force check. King moves to e7. Knight c3 by Paul Murphy. c6 by using Rousseau. e5 threatening the queen. Queen captures e5 and check. King moves to d1. Using Russo moves his king to d8. Why? Because rook a1 may come to e1 and may pin the queen. Rook to e1, threatening the queen. Queen c5. The bishop is under attack. Bishop captures g8. d5 by using Russo. The queen is under attack. But he didn't move the queen. Instead, he played rook to e8 and check. King captured it. Queen captured c8, check. Brilliant move. King moved to e7. Now, he captured the d5 pawn with the knight. Knight captures d5 check. Queen cannot capture it because it is protected by the bishop. Even his pawn on c6 cannot capture it because after that his queen will be under attack. King moves to d6. Now Paul Murphy played queen to c7 and ended the game. King has no square left. Did you enjoy the game? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.